and welcome to Straight No Chasers YouTube channel, and welcome to the club. We really appreciate you being here. If you haven't been here before, we just have two separate rules. Respect everybody's opinion, and allow everybody to speak. If you follow those two rules, we will get along just fine. If you haven't followed any of the mods in the club, please do at this time. Click the green house at the top and join the club. If you violate those two rules, we will send you to New York City. Other than that, welcome to Straight No Chasers. Stop capping, ghost. Y'all telling me y'all didn't hear that report? I, I got you recording on my phone. Like, a lot of people that's, like, that's pushing that, they say they don't fuck with rats and what their word is. And, like, this man they is a rat on the paperwork, and they fucking with him. Hey, bro. bro so me personally, bro, like, honestly, this allegedly, right? I think that nigga motherfucking, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mark is a motherfucking rat, too, bro. I think he one of them CS, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, he really the thing. Hey, I no, no, so he the no, 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 no. I ain't gonna let you do it like that. So Mark why are you holding out on paperwork? If he got listen, all the paperwork listen, and all the pages, listen, why he gonna give listen, it up? Listen, listen, no. I believe Mark gave statements because Mark is gonna tell on everybody. Mark okay. is a regular dude. Talk to me. You know, a regular dude with, uh, you know, from the Kappa shit, whatever the Q dog shit, suit and tie nigga, regular dude, right? I know the nigga, right? That's how he knows Shaq through that Q dog shit. Yeah, him, they, they brothers, they whatever brothers, yeah, right? Frat brothers so, and shit. Yeah, they both got brands on their ass at the same time. They, with the they laugh about the story Allegedly. all the time, <laughs> right? So listen, now nah, I don't believe Shaq's with Illuminati. So listen, Mark was guilty of. On the phone, I'm gonna tell you, you might be right because they had Mark in the trick bag because Mark was the buffer. Mark was infatuated with LA life. He was the one that was calling over there to the streets. Yeah, yeah, man, this, this, that, this, this, that. And there's no doubt in my mind they had Mark on there telling them niggas to pull the move. And once they showed Mark, we got you, this accessory. Mark probably started singing about all kind of shit. This a fact. Because Mark is the nigga who phone was high. Mm -hmm. Mark so, phone was high. Was Mark, ever, was Mark ever on the phone with you and uh, Dale Dog? Was he ever on that phone Never. call? Well, you talk to Dale Dog all the time. This is why I was going to beat his ass. Nigga, after they shot Box car up, Box give Mark the Rolls Royce. He said, here, homie, fix the body, paint it, you can have it. Phantom, on foes. Nothing on the inside was fucked up. He sent it to him. Mark fixed it. He drove that bitch around Atlanta, shipped the car to Miami, shipped it wherever he went, right? So when we out in Vegas, All-Star Weekend, me and Box together. Shaq got parties. What party we doing? We're going to do the one at the Palm, right? Whack, meet me at the Palm. I guess Box was told to go to another party at the Wynn. I oh, go wow. to the Palm. Look, when I go to the Palm, Mark tell Box, now nah, I go to the party at the Wynn. So I go to the Palm. When I get to the Palm and walk to the entrance, guess who there? Dale Dog in Seven Main Streets. Mm. You don't hear Box tells the story on the record. I say, Box, the Dale Dog telling the nigga at the counter, I got a VIP table booked under Mark Stevens. Hold up, nigga. Box out here with you. You know what's happening. Hey, Box, Dale Dog in your lobby at your hotel. Mark got the, he said, whack. Mark switched up, told me come to the win, because he got these niggas over here. He said, whack them on my way back, but I'm naked. I say, box, I got your room key. He said, whack, this the code to my safe. Meet me in valet. That's the story you hear box telling. Yeah, you you know what, you, you remember what year this was? Nigga, all you got to do is pull up All-Star Weekend. In Vegas, oh, whatever yeah, I year, there. Jay, I was there. I was whatever there. I was year, there. this had to be 2007. Yeah. Yeah, this had to be 2007. 7, it was 2007, bro. Jay Z's song, Lost One, 
Jay Z song "Lost One" was blazing on the airwaves. Yeah, I remember I was that shit. All Star Weekend, right? bro. They they actually that's like, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's the best like weekend I ever had in my life. <laughs> oh God, to this day. Yeah. So All Star Weekend in Vegas. You know, end of the day, me and me and Big U went over box niche paperwork in his living room in the '60s. Me and him together. All the shit on the main streets. Every piece in his man cave with all his Minnesota biking shit. Six hours. All the shit we read through. But they whack. I know, ain't never was a, you, but you, never you, know. Huh? I know, I know that. See, Box had said on the recording, he was like, hey, Iman, if I'm right, didn't he say 2016 or, or 2017 when he showed Big E the paperwork? Big E wasn't fucking with him. Uh, I know where you, yeah, you right. Keep going, you on the right track? Yeah, so he but said hold on. Right, but look, you can't he say that because he was at he was at my studio filming Gillian Wallow. That's the question. And, <laughs> That's and his is. first <laughs> episode of Checking In Not was mention. filmed at my studio, bro. Not to Cat. mention, you showed me text messages like, I don't think you would like fake fucking pictures of his kids and all that. Like, you send me like text messages of him saying like my kid graduated and you like salute he like you need anything what the bam you feel me that's all for mark yeah that was all from mark that was out the 2016 for sure all that bro that's crazy bro listen to me bro Hey, whack, you know I'm just a spectator. Listen bro. to I'm me. Just a blog. All them niggas watching. got together. <laughs> all them niggas got together. Right? And said, we're going to tell you, you can't. I'm too clean. Hey, look, bro. When you I'm think they smart decided nigga, that, though? When you think they decided to, like, you know what? Fuck that. Whack got to get the fuck up out of here. When I told. When I, um. When I told, um. Big U called him and called him on going up in my label. Because watch this. Let me tell you something I didn't tell you. Mark did one of K Slay's first albums. You go pull up K Slay albums, you will see it's tied to Mark and Koch Records. Yeah, he said that on I the call, audio. K, he K like Slay called me. K, no, he wasn't. He wasn't shit. They only was doing he that. Said that of the he shot. invited you in, him and K Slay. He basically was saying, like, me and K Slay invited him into the music business. We didn't want to put him into no, Ray no. J. I told you that. No, before. First of all, Ray J from Power Road. I met Ray J at Death Row early 2000s. Wasn't no fucking Mark around us or no K Slay. Right? Mark knew Slay because he did a project with Slay. Let me get to it. Slay called me and said, Whack, I never got no royalties off this album I did with Mark. I called Mark. I said, hey, Mark, the royalty check is going to you. Slay don't understand the business. Where is cut? He said, Whack, you in my business. I said, K. Slay business is my business. Where is cut? Either you tell me I'm going to pay this 5000 to the auditor and force Koch to send us what they paid you. You and Slay 50-50, where it's bag. Right? So Mark got a reason over there to be mad. My brother called me, I'm a pressure. Slay say, whack, I don't know about this shit. Help me with this shit. I know some money going somewhere, I don't know where. I know Koch had to deal with Mark. Mark had to deal with Slay. So they're going to pay Mark, and Mark got to pay Slay. He wasn't sending Slay his money. So I'm pressing him about that. I done told him I was going to knock him out. All kind of shit. Then the big U shit come up with Koch E1. Same shit. Both them niggas is Muslims, bro. Right. And then you said, like, at that, like, when you got into it with uh, Big U, was this around the same time? What year was this? Like, when you got into it with Big U because Big U went to Koch Records. <clears throat> I was like 20, 20, 20, 20, it was, it was COVID, like, Mid COVID, maybe 2021. Yeah. Hey, you know, right after that Gilly shit, Gilly interview, checking in right around there when it happened. So, you know, we know, but I ain't want, hey, look, bro, 
dude is falling on his face. He ain't never been that. Ain't going to be that. Me, S. Mac, few other niggas put him in place. You know, he's 57 years old, still trying to figure it out. And ain't no dodging or ducking. We just had Eddie Boy say, yeah, the nigga's a rat. Mm. Yep. What? Yep. I just ordered the police report. Whack got the... You talking about on the live? On live. On the right now. Is, did they, yeah, they nigga, say that live? Of course, Loose Cannon gonna say, but he probably still on it. Okay. So, so at the end of the day, I got the paperwork identifying the alias he snitched under and showing that that alias is Eugene Henley. Eddie Boy went down there two, three weeks ago and ordered the police report on my direction. I got to send him his money back. You're going to hear all that. And he said he told on me. And when I was in prison, lied, told niggas I told on him. I sent the paperwork to the hood. Nobody did nothing about it. I remember they had said on the phone call, they was like, it was hard for you in, in prison. You know what that was. He's like, yeah. So that that's what they mean by it was hard for you. That's him what he prison. mean by that. Yeah, that's what he mean. Hey, bro, get loose cannon in here, bro. I want to ask him about the, um, like, I ain't going to, you know what I'm saying, go X it out with him or nothing like that. But I just want to um, ask him, like, how you feel about these cease and desist. This is the second cease and desist he got. Yeah, I know, but like I said, Ghost was saying, like, the first one got a different lawyer, and the first one, I'm just the going first off, one, like, the personally, first one, bro, 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 y'all got to stop doing that dumb shit. The first one went to Loose Cannon directly and the Urban Flicks. This one came to No Jumper. Right. Right. Yeah, that, and it that. identifies, it identifies what it was, What you got to understand. Thing. Listen, listen, bro. And I, listen. Whack could show you I'm suing Worldstar because they can't, bro. If Worldstar could show I was an informant or on a wiretap trying to get a nigga killed, I wouldn't have no grounds for lawsuit. I could say cease and desist and they'll pull it. Hey, Where's you know Big Q lawsuit? Crazy, though? Them niggas add extra views. Like, it's like they working for you, too. Do you you got a, you got a back door over there or something, gang? Like, what's up? Over where? Over there with them niggas. Because they add an extra. Like, they be like, yo, it was 5 million. It was 10 million. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that's that's adding on to what you got going on. I don't know if they know that. I don't. I don't bro, World Star got exposed seven years ago. That you can hit buttons and play with the numbers. That's when it lost its value. Y'all don't remember that? I definitely remember that. Yeah, that's when niggas stopped fucking with World Star. As soon as they showed that, it lost its value. Yeah, only thing they got going right now that's heavy is they on uh, YouTube because apparently them 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 shits ain't fake. Like you know, for the people can upload right now, you gonna get your true numbers because it's YouTube, YouTube, Google watching, but. When it comes to the website, allegedly, they saying that you can play with the I know, numbers. allegedly, they showed it. Yeah, you probably could, could go, they showed it. And Worldstar didn't fight it, and it lost its validity. It was over with, because remember, Worldstar was God, nigga. Hell yeah. Everything was Worldstar, Worldstar, Worldstar was the first website to get exposed with bots, bro. <laughs> niggas was using bots on Worldstar 10, Your 15 years ago. Worldstar was charging niggas hella money to <laughs> run it up. <laughs> Get your video shot by me. I'm going to put you on World hey, Star. Hey, hey, you let, me tell you you. Funny. let me tell you what's funny, bro. I helped me and Kevin Black help drive World Star's first 4 million subscribers, right? Oh, you talking about on YouTube? <laughs> no, on World Star. On oh, WorldStar.com. Me, Kevin Black, and another company... Help drive World Star's first four million subscribers. You don't remember when they named Kevin Black as VP of World Star? Yeah, was it the uh, little dirt and okay. uh, game B? No, I mean, we, bro, you missing what I'm saying. Our job was to drive the subscribers up. Fuck a post. World Star didn't want to pay us. Now, you know what's funny? The same people we sued World Star with. For not paying us for doing a marketing campaign, 
is the same law firm using to sue him now. Ain't that a bitch? And we got paid on the last one. Which one? The same one? The same one. Why you think I went back to them? Because they know they in their system. They didn't fuck them. They didn't whoop them once. Well, it's a fact. I definitely put that video down. And them niggas, yeah. like, like, for example, Deuce, he be crying and shit. He be crying. Like, yeah, they want to send me a DCMA, or what is it called? Uh, he must, a D, DCMA. I think he a DCMA. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, he like, they want to send that to me. <laughs> First of all, we went Fucking after crack. LA Media. LA Media owns World Star. So we that's who we went at. They said our reliable source, Eugene Henley, claims is true. My attorney sent in case numbers, case law, all the paperwork. Soon as they seen it, they snatched it. We hope this makes him happy. Negative. Five million. Yeah, I know for a fact that, like, I know for a fact, like, this is the thing, bro. I know for a fact that they fucked up because apparently to they they whole look get down right they said that you what do you, what do you call it Iman? like 137 or some shit yeah so 137 you would never see that paperwork and never nobody would get it so even if it was true or wasn't true nigga, you would never get it so therefore you just fucked yourself and you got damn it you got to pay they gotta pay me i'm a r&b her house i brought 1.8 million I'm just going to pay that off. That's free money. I ain't tripping. I don't give a fuck. Free money. Dummy, big you can't fuck with me. You can't outwit me, outsmart me. You always, bro, the nigga whack. Can you help me do this? I don't understand this. Can you try to set something up? Bro, he a reputable crip known for fighting in prison. Nothing else after that. Nothing. Yeah, I heard him. He, like, he named draws because he did draws off a of nigga. I don't know about that. I don't know where that name come from. I can't tell you. Yeah, legend. That's but what I heard. But he was known back in the day, but now, <laughs> now he's 57 with bad knees. All he going to do is fight. He ain't doing no killing. He ain't doing none of that. None of that. He ain't doing none of that. That ain't him. That's why I be like, Chuck, Chuck, you ain't no fool. Years ago, you used to feed into it. I don't know why. Man, it's a lot. Chuck, I'm from out here. <laughs> For real. I know these niggas. I'm who I am. I know how these niggas move. But my I thing know is this, though, bro. They threaten me all the time, bro. They Like, a nigga just threatened me and said that I shouldn't have, um, I should have said that Strat should have said, swear to God, versus, hey, Wack just said, he said, put it on your hood, bro. You ain't gonna put it on your hood. He said that, nigga said that I should have said, swear to God. So they threaten me all the time, but why they ain't doing nothing to you, bro? That's weird. Niggas ain't finna do nothing to me. Hey, Chuck, check this out. I welcome a nigga to come playing. I tell niggas I'm over here. Bro, Chuck, listen, man. All I can know is they know that's not no walk in the park. A lot of niggas was like, yo, he's a valley nigga. He's okay, go see him then. That's what he I'm ain't saying. Talking. Where I'm from, bro, niggas are hiding on the cars, niggas are dressed up I just seen, I just old seen eight sixties. I just seen eight sixties yesterday in the Fox Hill Mall. I went to and I'm in a a, a Hellcat red eye with big ass red folds on it. Can't miss it. Whack, what up? What's happening? You good? Always. Good to see you, homie. Ain't nobody, that nigga don't run, bro. Hey, bro, I'm going to be real, bro. A nigga to put his life and freedom on the line, it got to be about something. They don't respect dude like that, bro. Right, but, like, bro, can you say, like, it's kind of y'all fault too, though? Because y'all, like, you saying that you put him in position. We did what we were supposed to do. Hey, look, bro, I'm a West Coast nigga. We created the table. About 10 of us put the table, well, five of us, and we put the table together. And it was working great. But a nigga got jealous. I was already on. He thinking I'm big you from 6 old. 
I got a seat at the table. My shit's supposed to be on. Bro, you got artists want to fuck with you, but he wouldn't sign a nigga unless they was from 6-0. I said, yo, you got to let other niggas in, right? So, yeah, we made everybody look good. It's a fact. I'm pushing the West full throttle. Damu's got control of the building. Stunner, Wack in there, Mac-10 was in there, Bloods was running the buildings. So now since the Bloods running the buildings, we're going to unite this Damu and Crip shit, and we're going to run it up in the street. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Blueface, Savvy Third, my nigga Blue Nip from Long Beach, putting Big U in place to win. We put these niggas with these celebrities. He started doing the bullshit. And then tried to snake me, not realizing I didn't make this Jewish man hundreds of millions of dollars. The Jewish guy had a key to my house in New York. You can't go tell that man nothing about me. Is you stupid? But again, hey, this is the, the, he's not the head that over smart. at E1, right? <laughs> Alan Grumblack. It's a yeah, fact. Alan Grumblack. I talk to him every day, even a day. Hey, bro, this, we still this, get this, money. This is the big question, though. Like, they sent cease and desist, apparently, to uh, Loose Cannon in that, that TV show in that network, right? Did they but where's the lawsuit? But did they send any cease and desist to you, though? He's not going to cease and desist me. Why not? <laughs> the same reason I won't cease and desist him. I can show you on my phone. Well, my attorneys wanted me to include him in the lawsuit because Worldstar mentioned that was a reliable source. Chuck, what you think I told him? What you tell him, bro? What you think I told him, Chuck? He ain't involved. <laughs> Don't mention his name. That's street shit. I can see the screenshot. See, one thing about me, anything I tell you, I can give you the receipts right now. I can show you me arguing my attorneys a few weeks ago. Woo to woo. Hey, you got his name in the thing. Pull his name out. Focus on LA Media World Star. I don't I don't sue street niggas. So what do you think we about deal with him in the street? Like what do you think about him sending these letters out though? No, I don't listen, I don't mind him sending the letters out because he's so stupid, he's showing his hand. The cease and desist supposed to come with a lawsuit. See, he can't send a lawsuit because it ain't no grounds because he know what the fuck this boy got. Hey, to Chuck's he point, too, like, why not sue you, though? Because you, you got a louder voice. Like, you on the internet. Uh, it would make sue sense to send that what? to you. No, I'm saying, if you're going to send a cease and desist to somebody, it would make sense. To me, look, uh -huh. if he, he no loose cannon with me, bro. He know loose cannon. I didn't make loose cannon oh, I see. in the last six weeks. Listen, I didn't make loose cannon in the last six weeks. One point three million. I didn't put in that crip nigga pocket, and I gotta send him another punk seventy five thousand them all on the Whoa. move. I just deal with it, right? He not listen. He not finna play with me, cause he know I got access to the shit to kill the cease and desist. Now, all of this success comes from basically you running, like, what you did with No Jumper, bringing them up there and kind of just plugging them in that, like, algorithm and stuff, or you talking about some other business venture? Yeah, he got, he got part no. of that network. Oh, uh, for real? Urban Flip. Yeah. Urban, bro, bro, we did, we did, we did, um, 300,000 subscribers in February. We back up to 290,000 in March, 799 times 50 percent bro listen all these bozos i'm outside but you broke nigga we you're broke and every hey, time you mention him. my name you make me bigger so I why he didn't oh, do a, a cease and desist with loose cannon he can, can he do that he, no, did. he did he, he, he sent it to him first he did see yeah, see listen said, that was the why first can't one. never look Wack ain't never cease and desist in no street nigga. It ain't happening. A company, I'ma fuck over you. 
Ritz, Chevron, Burger King. I'm fucking up. Chuck, I'm going to send you this shit. <laughs> when you see me, I'm going to send it to you right now, Chuck. When you see me, tell my attorney, take big you name out of there. Stick to the company. He's a hoe for sitting at the loose cannon. But he got scared. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, subscribe to the video, and follow us on all social media platforms. Come back daily to see new content or shit we throw up just to keep your day going. Remember, we put out nothing but premium content. The one, the only. Straight No Chasers.